curricular movement. How's it going? Um, I have this outfit on today that has like green in it and now I have my green car. So I got this green purse. It's a Michael Kors. And so I'm, I'm just like taking the tags off and like the paper and everything. So I just wanted to document for you guys like what I'm doing. Let's see, here's all the papers and stuff. Because I know my life is like really crazy right now and I don't really have that much time to film. So I wanted to show you guys like what I'm doing. See the MSRP is $5.48. I got it for $99. So Spirit led me to purchase these. I got three different colors. I'm not sure if I want to keep one of the colors, the pink one, but it is really pretty, so I might keep it. And I might want like a backpack style. <laughs> Angles look really weird. But <laughs> okay, so it's hot in here. I have a whole bunch of things to say, but I just need to focus on what I'm doing and transfer my stuff over. So I have this one, my stuff in it, this car. I'm going to have to leave right now, so I'm just transferring everything over. And it'll be easy because the same exact thing and I only have the stuff that I really need mm -hmm. I've got my sunglasses I have my keys with my pepper spray or whatever that is and my gym membership my house key my AirPods. And I have this like, well, I had this with my other stuff. If there's no like way to hang in your um, purse on a like bathroom, you can hook it here and then hang it like on a bar or on the door handle so you don't have to put your stuff on the ground. I just have that. And then I have my reading glasses. And I have a bunch of change at the bottom. I guess I'll just put that in there. A receipt. This helps you like clean your wallet out or your purse out too if you switch purses which I never really like to switch purses because it's like seems like a hassle and it's annoying. So I never do it, but I'm feeling guided to just put a little bit more care into things that I do. Like do things that I feel like I want to do, even if it doesn't make sense necessarily. It'll make me feel happier. Okay, so then I have this little hand sanitizer hook. So we'll hook this and hand sanitizer in it from Bath and Body Works. And just clip that on and it's done. So how long did that take? And I had to take all the paper and stuff off. Trust me. And 
I'm putting my weight up so you can see. Okay, so. Wow, I feel special. That's what, that's what spirit wants me to feel like, special. So you need to treat yourself and make yourself feel special. Um, clean up as you go. Okay, so I'll be right back. Just show you guys what's in my living room. <laughs> all these boxes that I just boxed up for Amazon. So I have those over by the door. God. I can't flip the camera when I'm filming. No, um, so. I have those four and then the two by the door. So that's six boxes. And so, yeah, they're all set up to go. So it's a ton of stuff. Let me see. There's like um, 51 different SKUs. And there's like 140 products or 150 products, something like that, that I'm shipping out. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been doing Amazon, which I thought I was going to be doing DoorDash, but okay, now I have to go get some food for me and my son. I have to take him to school. I like to like clean up, <laughs> so I'm getting distracted. I was just doing the laundry because my dryer's broken and I have to keep drying my clothes like on air dry for like 95 minutes. So I have to get a new dryer. Love thy neighbor. Do not judge, do not condemn or reject. Just love. Love with all your heart. Hey guys, so I'm in my new car, eating breakfast, I'm eating Chick-fil-A, I just ate chicken biscuits, it's for my son, um, but now I'm just eating the chicken part with my honey mustard. <laughs> um, dipping the chicken in. I just separate it. So. Just vlogging, you guys. I don't have a holder for my car. For my phone. To film, but it won't work the same as my other car. I can't put it in the vent thing. Okay. So I have to get new mounts for my car. For filming. Right now it's just resting on the dashboard so I can't like be moving in my car or anything. Um, I'm just like really tired right now because I'm like going 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 like a crazy person. 
have the seats down in the back. I don't want to eat the fatty part of the meat. So I'm trying to get that off. <laughs> um I have I have those boxes upstairs that I showed you guys. So I'm trying to get energy to load the boxes in the car. Protein. And the biscuit is actually carbs and fat. Okay. waiting for my son. To come downstairs and then I can take him to school and then Oh shoot, I forgot about that music um in the background. But I have like my trunk open up in the back. <laughs> so you can see all my stuff back there. But the the seats are flat down so I can put the boxes in, load the boxes. Um, yeah, so it's all ready to go. And I did like, I, I had to prep and pack everything. So that took, and like buy everything for like Halloween time, like the seasonal products that I sell. So, and you feel like in a rush because, well, I, I had to buy the car and then deal with the car stuff. I still have to call my insurance to put my this car under my insurance. But I think I wanna change insurance companies because of what happened. that was their fault or it's just like my spiritual thing but it's like when I have all these problems is it the company's fault or is it like just my spiritual journey a little bit of both or it's my spiritual journey but I'm hearing like people act out of character because of my spiritual journey like it's just like things fall into alignment whether it's like good or bad behaviors of people it's putting me in my on my path and they could be acting out of character there could be like circumstances and things happening so I could just keep the same car insurance. I don't need to change it right now. That's what I'm hearing. But I'm kind of like mentally exhausted. I'm like physically and mentally exhausted of everything going on. Because it's so much. My son should be here like any minute, so I'm gonna go. See you guys in a little bit. I'm not gonna go right now. I'm returning some things that I brought in my phone and my camera um, protector broke on my phone. The little stick on thing that's on the back of my phone. So I have to get a new one of those. And I already dropped my son off at school, and then I'm going to go home. I have to still clean out my car somewhat 
all the stuff in the back seat because I have all the, those six boxes that I have to put in my car. And then that's what I was kind of doing this morning earlier. So I got to finish doing that. And then my car will be all cleaned out and ready for those boxes. And then I have to call my insurance and get my car put on my insurance. So. Okay, so I did all that and now I'm getting back in my car. So I got some really cool stuff. So I got the, this is what I needed to get. And then I got a charger for my car. I already have like a charger that like, it just sits in the car, like this thing. You just lean it against the side and it charges, but then it also has this connector cord. So like for two phones. And then I got a new like ring Thing for the back of my phone. This is really cool. The other one I have, I have to keep taking it on and off because of my charger on my car. I can't like have it on. So this is magnetic and it's a pop socket, but I like this one better that I just got. That one like keeps coming apart. I think it was because my phone was like kind of not clean when I put it on. And so it would like pop off because I needed to clean it first. So I'm trying to open this while I'm holding my phone. Okay, I think I did it. Now it's like connected to this paper. Hold on, I don't want to break it. Okay, there we go. I have to turn my, Okay, I had to turn the music off. So I'm opening the, this is what it looks like. It's pop sockets, magnetic phone grip and stand, MagSafe. I just ripped it off. So there's a, peel that off rip this cardboard thing off. Oops. <laughs> There's still a piece of cardboard. Okay. Oh, it's cute. It's kind of sparkly. Let's see. See those sparkly it is? I like this one better. Yeah, because the other one, my phone would drop and that's how it broke. That's how the camera lens thing broke. The camera lens didn't break. It was the protector. It's like a glass protector, so it cracked and broke. Oh, there's like a... There's another thing you peel off. Okay, so... Now this goes on the back of my phone, and it's cuter. It's actually cute. And then I have to take it on and off all the time to put it in my car charger. So I'm starting up my car right now. So now I have an extra one, which is cool. And I'm just gonna use this new one and I have to go home and... Oh shoot, I need to fix my camera lens and I'll go home and put the box. This is the back of the car now. And I took the big, this big thing right here. That was the, um, like when you open the trunk, there was like a platform with hooks that are on the sides and it like protects the stuff that's in the trunk. But I took it off because I'm going to be loading the car up. So I'll be back. Okay, so I just opened this box. This is the charger that I got for my car. It's a USB-C plug. So this is what it looks like. This is like the cable. And then it's in my phone right now and it's charging. And then it has like this little accessory um, holder 
so you could put it in there. Um, so this is amazing. It's lightning fast charging, 15 times more durable. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to put these on right now. Okay, so I just, um, oops, I just put all the boxes in my car, and I'm taking it to the post office right now. If you can, I'm dying. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm alive. See, I caught myself being negative. Um, it's 82 degrees. So I was just bringing all these boxes down three flights of stairs and in the direct sunlight. And this tank top is like really hot. Um, so yeah, it felt like 90 plus degrees. Now I'm going, I'm just like really exhausted right now, but that was the worst of the, the, the shipment or the day. <laughs> and I just realized that my charger will work with this like pop socket on the back of it. So I was like so excited about that because there's this like little ring that you put on your phone like a sticker that like makes it more magnetic and I didn't do that the first time when I had my magnetic pop socket on my phone case um it's the one from the apple the apple phone case with the magnetic pop socket thing um so now it's like really hard to come off of the phone so now I won't be dropping my phone but then it would be it now it was hard to take off so I could put it on my phone charger but now my phone charger works so these are all the little adjustments that you need to make like when you're switching over vehicles I just put my new vehicle on new car insurance on the same car insurance but now the rates are higher so now I'm gonna have to try to find a new insurance car insurance so I can reduce my rates and um, now I'm not even, I haven't even been doing DoorDash so I don't know if it's going to be a part-time job or if I'm going to do Amazon and DoorDash like probably so because your, your money is like tied up in your inventory so now I'm thinking like I just spent like a ton of money on inventory and the car and like accessories and like new purse and new phone well the phone stuff actually I had things that I wanted to return so it was only four dollars for me because I just got my phone not that long ago and they were having like this promotion for accessories it was like buy two get two free or buy three get two free or buy three get one free something like that and so yeah so I took advantage of that and then I was able to exchange some things and get the things I needed for this car without paying like much at all four dollars so amazing and so now I have two pop socket things with now that I have that magnetic strip on my phone case now I have a backup pop socket for it and I think I threw away the other magnetic strip because I didn't even know about it I didn't read all the directions for it I guess so I didn't really know how it worked um so I'm just going to the UPS to drop off all these boxes and um then after that now I'm like my money is really low now and my credit cards are like maxed out pretty much and like so I'm just gonna try to like do DoorDash and um, get a new car insurance so I'm just gonna try to do DoorDash as much as I can 
like 12, 15 hour days like I was before so I can get my money up and so I can make all these like my face is like so red from like going up and down the stairs yeah so I need to get my money way up so I have money and then when these orders come in from Amazon it's gonna take a while to get paid because I owed them like money I owed them like $450 or $500 and so by sending an in inventory I didn't want my business to shut down that's why I did it because I mean literally being forced by the universe for all of this stuff it's not like a choice like oh I'm gonna do Amazon now that's not what it was like it was literally my account got deactivated and I and then so I had to fix a bunch of things on my Amazon and then I was like I better like start doing this for like Halloween season like a, there was like a bunch of stuff at the store that like reminded me of it and then I was like yeah I need to do some Amazon so I don't lose my whole business that I created and uh, maybe I can start making money on it again and then it was all in an alignment with my nails coming off look at how bad my nails are they're like way down and they're like gross it was like embarrassing at the dealership it's, they're so freaking bad. I, I had to have my daughter like help me um, get the little protector on my phone, like the, the screen, the um, camera protectors that I bought. I had to get her um, help to like take the black part of it off so I could put the new one on. Because I literally couldn't do it and I tried using like a razor blade and I'm like that's not a good idea. So I had her do that and she helped me so that was amazing and I put all my shipping labels on my boxes and stuff while she was doing that and while I was calling insurance so I'm trying to show you guys like how I'm multitasking and getting everything done and this is like a typical well it's probably not typical this is like this is like how my life is going at this moment I'm like running like fast and furious like trying to get everything done and so I thought like I would try to film this even though I don't even have the filming equipment in my car I'm trying to do all of this at once and so this is how you do it and I'm gaining this like momentum where like this didn't just happen from like overnight like being like um, being all zenned out before I was doing like yoga and I was you know I was doing all the things to take care of myself my mind get my mind right and preparing me for this time where I'm gonna like go hard like because you need to have like rest and relaxation and getting your mind straight sometimes so there's like a time and a place for everything there's like seasons of life and so some seasons you're like working really hard and doing certain things that are good for you in that season. And like then you can, when you're all set straight, like everything is like learned. You're not learned, completely learned of everything, but you can like put it all together. Like the puzzle pieces together forming the puzzle. And so like when you want to present yourself like for a job interview or whatever you're already in that space in that momentum of like that energy space of like productivity and so but you can also incorporate you know your workout routine and your your spiritual baths your meditation your practice spiritual practices and all that and your like have your car have your money right have your finances right Oh shoot, I just went to the wrong place. I went to the post office instead of, I need to go to, they're right near each, it's right on the way, but I'm so used to going to like the post office that I kind of just like on autopilot like went here, but because I was talking on here, but um, now I'm going to go to the UPS, which is down the street further. I like didn't go out of the way at all. I just turned into the wrong like parking lot. So the AC is cooling off the car and I'm feeling a little bit better now. But I'm still in that like 
momentum of like hurrying because everything's like hurrying for this um, business, these business endeavors. And I know that it's preparing me for what's up ahead. So this is not the end goal. And the end goal can like shift because I thought that it, I was gonna be doing DoorDash. But then, then everything shifted and I'm doing Amazon now. And then so I'm gonna go back to DoorDash. I'm just kind of like, you know, following my intuition. So it's God speaking to me, telling me what I need to do next. And what I've been told what I know of what my goal is and what my what I've been told that I need to do through my intuition that's how I, it's like my manifestation is becoming more clear or like there's some kind of direction there so that's how I that's how I purchased this particular car it's for functionality spirituality purposes it wasn't like I was looking for, like I had been looking at cars, looking and wanting to buy a car. That's not how it happened. And it happened within a few days of me buying a car. Well, I can say like a month, but I wasn't thinking of buying a car at first. I was just renting a car for DoorDash to get my money up. And that really worked. And then I was being told like, well, of course, it's like your common sense. Like, you can't be... It would be smarter to buy a car than be renting a car. And it was 14... 14... 30... $1,430 to rent that car for one month. That's outrageous. And this car, with um, the monthly payments, the, it has full maintenance, warranty... Um, roadside assistance, everything for like three, four years, um, 100,000 mile, I went the extended warranty and everything on this car. So everything's included in the monthly payment. I don't need to worry about it breaking down. I, I have safety. I have everything. So God is protecting me. I'm being guided to be protected and loved and, and all of it. It's all in an alignment with my spirituality. So comfort, luxury. But of course you have to work hard. You have to be dedicated. You have to put in your effort and your mind needs to be focused on God. And what is God asking of you? And to be prepared and ready to, to do whatever you're being told to do. Just be ready for anything. And, you know, do whatever you can to, to make, make things happen for you. Using all of your knowledge that you have. All of your gifts. All of your knowledge. And right now I'm here at UPS. And I'm going to um, get their little cart. And I'm going to load up the boxes and bring it into the... This is like the main hub. There's different locations. This is not the UPS store. <laughs> this is like where you bring, bring your big shipment. Okay, so here I am. This is the back of my car. I'm going into the UPS. And I'm going to get the cart. And then I'm going to load them up on the cart. So I'm just like... like better label paper and this is on a hill so this cart kind of like rolls down which is 
just like <laughs> there's like always difficulties you know so I need two hands I, but I'll come back okay so now I just um, emptied out my car and I'm going to um, the car wash right now because my windshield has like a bunch of like bug stuff on it and it's like hard for me to see and I have a quick clock car wash thing my car is like all dirty from like just driving I don't even know where I was driving but it's all dusty and dirty so I can through the quick crack car wash the membership I can go there anytime I want and you just pay monthly for that I've had that for like a really long time like 10 years or something it used to be called Rain Tree. Oh no. I'm not sure if that was a membership back then. But it's like the water is like clean water, so it doesn't leave like spots on your car. It's like filtered water. That's what I was told. So it doesn't leave like hard water stains like on your car. So you don't need to like wipe it dry. You can just do air dry. Like my hair. <laughs> it's like you're not rubbing your car. I don't know. You don't have to take that time to do that. I wouldn't do that anyways. But it's that's like a good bonus thing. It's like sure if all the car, car washes are like that but mine's like really good and now they have this system where they have like technology that like can read your license plate so you can just like go through there's like a member a membership lane so it's pretty quick kind of quick quick quick, quick. so and then it's 206 right now so I need to pick up my son at like 3, well 3.20, but so I need to assemble my car back together, like put the seats back and like that thing that's like right behind my seat, the um, flap in the back, the um, trunk flap, so I'll do that and I'll get the car wash and then I'm going to get like a drink at McDonald's and get one for my son as well because he's always thirsty like when I pick him up from school so we always go to like McDonald's to get like a drink together and, and then go out to eat because I don't have time to like make food or anything I'm like always running around thinking of doing my businesses and I can't be like unless it's something that I want to do like a special thing like where I'm making dinner or like, you know, but my kids are like teenagers and they don't really care. They'd rather, and, and also like me and my son, like we don't eat that much. Like my, my daughter loves, she works at a restaurant. My daughter who's 18, she works at a restaurant. So she brings home food most of the time. She'll have like tri-tip and mashed potatoes, like this, these big boxes of food that she gets like from the restaurant. Cause they'll have like buffets or like events and stuff and they'll have like food left over or she just gets free food at work. And so she has that. And then she likes, she's like super, she goes to the gym a lot. And so she likes to eat like her own foods. I don't know like certain foods she likes and she cooks her own food at home and I have the meal um, those boxes delivered of your you know the ingredients for the it's called every plate it's like home fresh or whatever they call it hello fresh there's different services that do it so ours is called every plate because it was cheaper than all the rest of them so it's pretty much like 50 60 bucks and you get like three meals for two people two servings and that's the minimum amount you can get 
and so that's what I order. And then you can get extras if you want. You can add stuff to it, get like Caesar salad or garlic bread or a lot of different things you want. If you want extra meat or whatever, you can add it on there. You can get extras of stuff. And so that's what I do. And then my daughter can just like, I don't have to go grocery shopping or anything. And then the, the these, everything is like sized out for the recipe. So you have just, you don't have like extras of everything. And it's all in a box in the refrigerator. Like there's a, there's like a pull out box where you can just slide it into the refrigerator and it has like everything together. And then of course I put the meats in the meat um, container of the refrigerator. And then, um, so it's easy for her to make those. And they took, my both my kids took culinary class in high school. And my daughter works at a restaurant and she's like interested in cooking and everything like that. So sometimes I'll come home and she'll have cooked a meal. And so that's like really nice. And then if, she might just cook it for her and um, my son or it just depends on we're all, all kind of like independent with what we do so um, we're we're all doing different things all the time so it's really nice how everything is and how how things are going and and so my daughter goes to college now and so she has like different schedule and so she'll be doing homework a lot and so I'll just end up like getting food for myself and then I only eat like half of it and give the rest to my son. So it's not even like I'm spending for two people. Sometimes I do and then we'll have like leftovers in the refrigerator and my son will like eat that like the next day and like or that night or whatever. But oh shoot. I just went in the wrong gate but and I already added my car to Quick Clock, my new car. Good afternoon, how are you Hi. doing? Good. Did you have a good day, girl? Yeah. Good for you. Have a thank you. Have you too. Good. Bye. Okay, yeah, everything worked. I got a new dash wipe. And now I can put it in car wash mode. There's a car wash mode on this car. So let me see if I can do it. That's the music. It's under like settings. Oops, that's not it. Oops. <laughs> that's a drive settings though. I saw it the other day. I think it's, yeah, it's under here. Okay, yeah, this is the car wash view. So, I just need to make sure all the windows are up. <laughs> the sunroof is out. So, it shows my car, like the top view of my car, and like where I'm going into the quick crash car wash. Quick quack. LED light. 
just went through the car wash and I just got a wipe so I'm just like wiping things down on my car and then I got a vacuum wiping off this display and everything, keeping everything clean, fresh and new. Um, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Put it on the, the mirror. I don't know. Like I need Windex, like some kind of Windex stuff. I do have that in the back too. So I have like a little compartment where I keep like stuff, which I don't really use, but I transferred it to this car. My son sits in this other seat and he's a teenager, so. And we do eat in the car like, all the time, every day. Sometimes we eat inside places, but And he got a haircut, so there's like little hairs. So I'm just wiping the seats down. And then I'm gonna get um, the vacuum. And I gotta go get a drink at McDonald's because I'm really thirsty. I might, if if it's too much time, which it probably won't be, I can wait till after I get my son if it, if I don't have time. And so yeah, I just know like step by step what I need to do based on just what I'm doing and how I'm feeling at that moment. So I'm going to go get the the vacuum. Alright, 
I forgot I was still recording. Okay, so I put everything in the trunk and fixed the seats, which you could probably see. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. So now I'm going to... So now it's 226. So I have like almost an hour, so... It'd be cool if I had a dash cam right here. Well, I do have a camera in the car. Um, so I could probably get a dash cam like right here. I'm trying to see like what angle would look good. So that would probably be good right there. I have one, so I can try to see if I can install that right now. So I'm gonna go get a drink and then I'm gonna go to a shady spot in a parking lot and see if I can do that. And then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going over to the gas station, the Costco gas station. 